around the world, me and my colleagues at Delphi consult farmers, growers and policymakers about the best practices of growing just about any commercial crop you can imagine. Whether it's potatoes in Africa, cucumbers in Canada or tomatoes in Timbuktu, we use our knowledge to bring growers to the next level and develop new knowledge with our local partners. My name is Joris Mullers and I'm part of the greenhouse vegetable team at Delphi and I'm a tomato cultivation expert. With my background as a grower and a biologist, I help growers interpret plant signals, adjust climate settings and in general define together what the most cost efficient way is of running a greenhouse business. This involves identifying best practices in dealing with things like changing weather, pests and diseases or optimal use of light. I visit greenhouses, look at crops and analyze with growers the information from their climate computers. But this also involves gathering data along the way to exactly find out what these best practices are. And for example, using plant models to optimize growing strategies. With technology rapidly changing, my job as a consultant and a tomato expert will definitely change over time. In five years, data-driven cultivation management will have changed my job completely. In the morning, I could be consulting a big greenhouse in Japan, and in the afternoon, I could be meeting with somebody from North America. But to get a clear picture of our future, we will start at our roots. When Delphi was founded over 25 years ago as DLV, data collection or plant models did not have a prominent role yet. Growers and consultants did operate by experience and gut feeling in those years and subjective interpretations and speculations served to prevent the most excessive problems. But as time passed, research started to gain more and more knowledge, computer engineers improved on climate computers and growers became ever more professional. Data became a larger part of my job in consulting tomato growers. Delphi has its own horticulture research center, the Improvement Center. Because developing our own knowledge is key to keeping our leading role in our field. My colleagues started off with gathering data in the field and accumulating it in low-level Excel files. Also, they were establishing personal databases of research results. As these databases were growing more and more extensive, sharing the knowledge became also more important, which in the early days was facilitated by simple company networks. More sophisticated Excel files were developed whom tried to plan optimal strategies by modeling plant energy consumption. These data collections and plant models like QMS are now a great part of my daily job, but integrating them has been an enormous challenge. But to tackle this problem, a special department was created, Delphi Digital, with bright young cultivation engineers like Max van der Hemel. My name is uh, Max van der Hemel and I'm working for uh, Delphi Digital as a cultivation engineer at Greenhouse Vegetables. At this moment, Delphi Digital consists of uh, six employees and we are based in uh, Blijswijk, the Netherlands. Delphi Digital uses data from your cultivation to support growers in their strategical, tactical and operational management decisions. And my role is to be the translator in the web of three different aspects in digitalization. That's domain knowledge, data science and software development. It is the challenge to assist and stimulate growers to implement digitization in their current cultivation process. On a daily basis, my main activities are related to green digitalization, which we define as measuring and judging the crop in a digital way. Over the last years, we developed several models and tools to support growers in optimize their cultivation and also to stimulate a digital transformation in horticulture. Let me introduce just a few of them. First of all, the backbone in our digital consultancy is the Delphi dashboard. This platform is used to combine all data of your organization in one central place. You can think of climate data, weather forecast, manual measurements, and additional sensors installed in your cultivation. This serves a grower to make decisions based on observations, and it gives the opportunity for deeper analysis. Moreover, 
The platform has the functionality to communicate via a feed as a kind of digital dossier and your crop consultant can follow the cultivation on distance and also with a higher frequency. As mentioned by my colleague Joris, QMS Tomato has become a daily part in supporting growers to set up their optimal cultivation strategy. This tool is mostly focused on strategical and tactical level. QMS, which stands for Quality Management System, is a computer program to set up your cultivation planning. Based on company-specific information, for example, greenhouse properties, variety, start and end date, the model will calculate the expected crop development, production and the corresponding light demand. The program offers handles to balance the light availability and light demand to construct the optimal scenario. During the cultivation, the strategy will be updated with realized crop and climate data, which can be used to adjust your strategy for the coming week or weeks. Besides, more related to operational management, the climate profiler is developed. This is a machine learning model that advises on the optimal climate for the coming 24 hours. And it's based on the weather forecast and the daily targets of QMS. This model will optimize the climate every hour and this tool can be accessed through the Delphi dashboard. Finally, the climate controller will translate the advice of the climate profiler into set points, such as ventilation and heating temperature. These set points can be automatically imported in the climate computer, which will take the necessary actions to adjust the optimal climate. In the Improvement Center, we are running a trial called the Road to Digital Green Fingers. Here we try to get insight in three important plant processes. Photosynthesis, water uptake and assimilate partitioning. The goal of this trial is to come up with an integral measurement system as part of the crop management system. Examples of these sensors are load cells to measure the total fresh weight gain of a plant, the sap flow and stem diameter sensor, as well as pointed microclimate sensors. These developments are key for the future, due to the decreasing amount of available green knowledge and to make the role of the grower more scalable and robust. All these components integrated together will bring us to autonomous greenhouse management. Stimulated by the results and lessons learned in the autonomous greenhouse challenge organized by the Wageningen University and Tencent, Delphi made steps toward this implementation in practice. In the challenge, multiple multidisciplinary teams demonstrated the capabilities of AI-driven greenhouse management. Delphi participated with a team in both editions where the first one was with cucumbers and the second one with tomatoes. In a project in Japan, we demonstrate the principles of autonomous growing in a cucumber cultivation. First, we start with making the cultivation strategy by using QMS. Then, all data sources and models are configured and presented in the Delphi dashboard. And if everything is set up correctly and a certain test and study period is over, step by step we take over the controls in the greenhouse towards a fully autonomous climate and irrigation control. In the operational phase, we as Delphi Digital monitor the cultivation on distance based on the information in the dashboard. The local people are responsible for the crop registrations and the management of labor. Especially in times with COVID-19, where we as Delphi are not able to be present on location, this shows the potential of autonomous growing and consultancy on distance. So my job will change. It is undeniable that more and more of the climate management will be automated before the end of the decade. We will even learn a thing or two from computers along the way. But there will always be the need for people that can bridge the gap between computers and plants. Solving unique or local problems, being able to explain what is happening in the greenhouse to engineers and entrepreneurs alike will be a useful skill for many years. To make this business model efficient, scalable and sustainable, a digital greenhouse ecosystem should be created. Nowadays, several parties in the greenhouse sector are inventing their business model. For example, a company selling sensor hardware is now developing dashboards. Here we talk about grey digitalization, which we define as 
the greenhouse conditions where a plant is growing. Delphi takes the position to translate data into decisions where the plant is leading. The data can come from several suppliers and the decisions or actions go to control systems. The core of this digital ecosystem is the integration of grey and green digitalization. The world and our sector are changing. Delphi and we as young people working there want not only to cope with this challenge, but actually lead in it. Seizing opportunities and redefining the tomato industry.